Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I've got two very special guests with me today. This is my niece and, uh, niece and nephew, this is Harry. Say hello Harry. Hello. And this is Libby. Say hello, hello Libby. And Harry and Libby are how old? Five. They're both five and this is their very first camping trip. As you can see from behind me, we're in their back garden. Um, and the very big tent you can see behind me is theirs. Do you want to go and get in your tent? Okay. <laughs> and what we're doing today so we're basically going to do a little bit of a camp out in their garden. We're going to do a little bit of fire lighting, um, and we're just going to kind of see how the uh, how the evening progresses. Um, so what I'll do, I'll cut the camera very quickly, um, and we'll make a start on some fire lighting. Right then, guys. Well, we're going to try a little bit of fire lighting. So here we've got our cotton wool, and Libby, who's going to try first, has got our fire still. Um, now we had a quick practice earlier, but we're going to try again. So if you're ready to go, Libby. A little bit faster. Um, that's it. Try that again. And move your hand. That's it. Well done. So there we go. This is Libby's first fire with a fire still. And now we have Harry trying his first go at a fire still with some cotton wool. That's it. A little bit harder. That's it. Take your hand away. Well done, so that's Harry's first fire with a fire steel as well. Right then guys, I thought I'd just give you a quick look at my setup while it was a little bit quieter. Um, so I'm using my Snug Pack Ionosphere, um, really nice little lightweight, small, um, supposedly two man, really my view is it's a one man. Um, and I'll just give you a quick unzip and poke you inside. So I have got my Van Gogh Venom 400 down sleeping bag, really good bag this. It um, packs down really, really small, um, also very lightweight. And I have got my Thermarest Neo Air under that. Um, bought this a while ago, first time I've used it, believe it or not. Um, but again, it packs down ridiculously small, not far shy of a can of Coke. Um, and that's really all I've got for this evening because we're in the garden. Um, I don't need all my usual kit. Um, but I'm hopefully going to be nice and snug and comfortable in this tonight. Right then guys, so no campsite would be uh, any good without a fire and that's exactly what we're going to have. So we've got a little fire pit here which is brilliant if you're doing this in your back garden. Um, now I'm going to light this so we don't have any arguments about who gets to do it. Um, and first of all I'm going to use my fire still to light the cotton wool. What's the cotton wool Harry? Tindley. What sorry? It's the tinder, that's right. And what does the tinder do? It makes, it makes a fire. If you didn't hear that, he said it makes the fire, which is exactly what it does. Now then, after that, we're going to put on these, which are our feather sticks. What are these called, Libby? A bit louder. Kindling. These are the kindling, and what do they do? It helps the fire to grow, that's exactly what it does. So I'm going to get this lit, and we're going to start building our fire. So we've got a bit of a flame coming on and we're just feeding, I'm hopefully not going to burn my fingers and we're just going to start feeding on these feather sticks. That's alright. That's alright. And then we're just going to start getting some smaller pieces of wood on.
Right then guys, well there were two reasons I wanted to make this video. One was to show you kind of how easy it is to introduce kids into bushcraft, camping, that kind of thing. You don't have to go outdoors, you don't have to go anywhere expensive, you can do it in your back garden. Um, and the benefit of this, and one of the reasons we did this here today, is that if we get to sort of the middle of the night and the kids wake up and they don't like it for any reason, you know, we're right next door to the house, they can go inside um, and you know, there's, there's no harm, no foul. Um, but also, you know, if you're looking to get into bushcraft yourself and you want to start doing things like fire lighting, setting up your tent, practicing with tarps, that kind of thing, there's absolutely no reason you can't do it out in your back garden. Um, it's a really, really easy and simple thing to do. You know, you've got all the comforts of home, um, you know, while you're practicing, because at the end of the day, you want to get your skills to a level where you can rely on them before you go outside for the first time. So, as I say, there's really sort of two reasons for this video. Um, and hopefully it will give you a few ideas, um, you know, if you want to either get your own kids or even just get yourself out um, and start practicing some of those skills that you maybe think, oh, I can't do it because I'm nowhere near any woodland or it's too far for me to go or what have you. Um, but anyway, guys, as usual, hope it was useful. Uh, comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more, and I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.